Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hello, my name is V. I'm posting one video every single day up until Christmas, that is 25 videos. We're on day 19. If you missed any of my previous videos, make sure to check those out. Trust me, you do not wanna miss out. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications as I'm doing tons and tons of giveaways throughout the month of December. That being said, I'm doing a very simple kind of extra set of nail for you guys. I am sharing with you guys exactly how to draw plaid nail art, along with how to mix this really pretty hunter green that I mixed. I hope you guys enjoy that. That being said, I am doing a giveaway on today's video. I'm going to be sending one lucky winner the Starry Night Whispers Gel Extension Kit from McCart. Look at this packaging, it's so, so pretty. It comes with six different colors, if I can open this. It comes with six different colors along with a base coat, top coat, a hand file, and a brush. All matching, look at this, so, so cute. How to enter the giveaway. I normally ask you guys a question and all you have to do to enter is comment your answer down below in the comment section. The question for today's video is, are you ready and prepared for Christmas? Comment down below if you guys are excited, if you're prepared. Let me know the details. I'm so excited for the holidays. Do not forget to check back in the community section of my channel. That is where I am announcing the winners to my giveaways. And that is where you will claim your prize. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, I did go ahead and double tip using the McCart tips. So I will link a video with that fully in depth so you guys can see how I do it. So I'm going to be mixing this really hunter green, almost blue hued. So I'm using Green Envy from Not Polish and then I'm adding some black in and then this really pretty teal turquoise color. And I'm going to be thoroughly mixing that. The color at the beginning of the video is what I'm aiming to recreate. I mixed this color a while back and I really, really liked it. So I knew I needed a little bit more to create this set. So I went ahead and mixed a little bit more. I am thoroughly mixing this using my cuticle pusher. I like to use my cuticle pusher because I can like scratch at the bottom of the container and it thoroughly mixes it very, very well. I'm swatching it right there and I figured I can add a little bit more blue. And again, I'm going to be mixing that very, very well. Now that we have our color mixed up, I'm just swatching it one last time to see if I like it. And I love how it turned out definitely recommend this green for the winter. I'm going in with some clear and applying that on the tip of my pinky nail. I'm going to be encapsulating some really pretty glitter. It's a really pretty matte white glitter with some gold glitter in it. Love it. Now I'm just adding some gold flakes on to that nail as well. Kind of just randomly placing it on there to give it a little bit more gold. But I love this glitter mix. It's so pretty, perfect for the winter. I am obsessed. I'm also going to be adding some snowflakes. I did go ahead and cut half of this snowflake off and I chose the green so it matches with the green color that we're gonna be using on the other nails. And again, I'm folding it as this makes it easier so it lays more curved on the nail and not as flat so you don't have to worry about any edges sticking up when you go in to encapsulate. 
So I'm just making sure it is positioned where I want it. And I'm going to press it firmly into that acrylic. I'm adding a little bit more clear and then I'm adding a white one as a little accent. I'm going in with my nude and I'm going to be creating an ombre. I feel like I need to stop doing ombre, but it's just so pretty. You can't go wrong with it. It goes with every color, every design. So I promise I'm going to try better, <laughs> but I'm just going ahead and applying that on what would be the natural nail, blending it down very, very gently. And then last bead in the cuticle area, gently pushing it up. Holding the finger in a downward position and blending it down into the existing acrylic. Very light pressure, very large strokes. As you can see, I am making sure that it is nice and blended. I'm going in with that same white gold glitter and just splatting it on there so it kind of overlaps that nude. Now I'm going in with this pretty green that we just mixed together. And I'm going ahead and applying that on the tip of the ring finger. I am going to be doing another ombre nail. <laughs> so I'm applying it first at the tip, small beads, just to make sure I'm not adding too much product. I like to work with thin layers of color as I do go in and encapsulate, especially when I'm working with ombre. I use smaller beads just because if I do need to fix it, I don't want to layer a bunch of acrylic on there. So as you can see, it's very, very thin. I'm just making sure that it is nice and opaque and you can't see any of the clear. I'm going in with my nude once again, applying that right above that green. And I did take a little bit too long to blend this out. So I had the hardest time blending it. You see, as I let it sit, it creates a harsher line. So the faster you work with when you are doing ombre, the better it's gonna turn out. But I'm gonna be showing you guys how I fix it. So as you can see, the ombre is not good. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not the best either. So I'm just gonna go ahead and focus on the cuticle area first, and then I'll go in and fix that ombre that I messed up because I took too long. So I'm taking some more of that green and overlapping it because not polished products are super blendable i know that it's not going to create a harsh line whenever i'm blending it so i'm okay with using green now if i knew that the color was way too pigmented then and didn't blend very well like not polished ones i would definitely double think this but like i said since i know it's blendable i'm going ahead and using the green otherwise you can absolutely layer on more nude and that would fix the issue as well so I'm going to be doing a full finger of the green on the middle finger. I just start in the middle section, blend it down, add another bead at the tip, blend it upwards, and make sure that the sides are nice and clean throughout the entire process. Again, very light strokes, very light pressure when I am working with acrylic. And I like to use a tapping motion as well. Now for the index finger, I'm going to be doing a full finger of that nude color as well. So I'm just applying that as my base and then I'm going to be adding some glitter to it. Thank you. 
Now that I'm done applying my base, I'm going to be layering on some of that glitter. I did go ahead and pre-fold or bend that snowflake and then I'm just pressing it into that still sort of wet acrylic. And then I'm going to be adding a little bit more, but because I did take a little bit longer, I'm adding just the smallest amount of clear just so it has something to adhere to. And then half of a gold one off to the side and then I'm just going to be putting some of that gold foil and some of the white chunky glitter as well. And I'm basically just applying them on that middle section and kind of bringing out the sides slightly. Again, adding a little bit of clear, placing that on there and then pressing it down so that it seeps into it nicely. And now is when I'm going to be layering on those bits of glitter, just very, very gently, not a lot at all. I just kind of want it to fill in any areas that feel or look like they need a little bit more. Once I'm done layering that, I'm going in and encapsulating. For this step, I am using not polished clear acrylic. And I'm going ahead and just layering that on top of the nail art and making sure that I am adding the thickness desired for the set. So I'm just going ahead and applying that as I normally would on to the entire length of the nail.
once everything is nice and dry i'm going in with my kiara sky rechargeable e-file and along with that i am using my kiara sky five in one bit this is medium grit i have her at about eight to nine thousand rpms and i'm just going gently around the cuticle area making sure that the cuticle area is nice and flush to the natural nail and then going vertically up and down the length of the nail this is my preference I feel like I have a better grasp of that hand file when I have a larger surface to file on, so it's just easier that way. I'm going in with my hand file. My Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick files are my go-to. So I'm going in on the sides, filing it into perfection. I want to make sure that the shape is nice and straight. I'm flipping the nails to look at the nails from the client's perspective and I'm going to be squaring off that shape making sure that it is nice and straight and checking the rest of the nail to make sure that everything is perfect and if I do need to fix anything I will fix it at this point. I'm going in with my sponge buffer from Profiles Backstage and just smoothing out the surface. I am going to be doing some nail art, so I definitely do not want to skip this step. I love these buffers, so definitely recommend them if you guys are looking for some. I'm going in with the lint free wipe and some swipe this is going to help and remove any excess dust you can also use it for prep as i normally do on myself and my clients it helps dehydrate that natural nail i'm going to be mixing a lighter version of that green onto my thumbnail so i'm using the green gel paint from profiles backstage along with the white one 
And I'm basically making it a little bit lighter and now I'm going to be adding some black to give it that darkness that it needs. I don't know if that makes sense. I first made it lighter and then I'm muting it with that black. So you can see it looks a little bit similar and <laughs> I'm just adding a little bit more white. I definitely could have added a little bit of blue in there too to match it a little bit better, but I wasn't thinking. So now I'm going in with my favorite nail art brush from Amazon. It is linked in my Amazon storefront. And I'm going in and drawing a long line off to the side. I'm going to be doing a plaid design for the video. And I feel like the key to plaid is just doing a bunch of lines. So I didn't go off of anything. I didn't use a picture or any shirt as inspo. I'm kind of just going off of the top of my head and drawing a bunch of lines. So I'm doing a thicker one for this one. And then I'm doing one horizontally across near the bottom. And I'm making it just a little bit thinner than I did for that long one. And I'm going to be doing another horizontal line up at the top. This one, again, a lot thinner than the rest. I feel like that's kind of key to it as well. If you just do a bunch of lines horizontally, vertically, and some thinner, some thicker. <laughs> so I'm starting off with these green ones and then I'm going to be going in with different colors. So right after this, I did cure in the light. Now I'm going in with my black gel paint. This is also from Profiles Backstage. And I'm basically outlining that first line that I drew. So I'm doing very thin lines on the outer edges of that line. Then I'm going to be doing another one horizontal right underneath that second green line. A lot thinner and I'm leaving a little bit of space in between the two. This one's going to be overlapping the green as well. And again, adding another one right in the middle. So like I said, I'm just drawing lines randomly. And I'm gonna be doing one vertically up and down. So I am overlapping the black line and then I'm taking my 3D nail art brush with a little bit of alcohol or some swipe and then I'm cleaning off the area where the green is at so it looks like it's underneath those lines. So I think what helps bring the look together as well is if you have lines underneath and some going over top. It gives it that dimension that you kind of need. I'm going in with some white, again, randomly drawing lines horizontally and then vertically up and down. And then I'm gonna be going in with some gold to kind of make it flow with the other nails since I did add a little bit of gold detailing in that. And then I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this.
And of course, I went ahead and placed that in the light, cured it for one minute. Now I'm going in with my top coat. This is Matte It from Not Polish. I'm just adding a very thin layer of that onto the surface of the nail, making sure it doesn't have any little hairs or fuzzies in that. And then I go ahead and clean the sides as well. I do the same process on clients too. Now, when it comes to nails that I do nail art on them, I like to really press it into that nail so that it goes around every crease and every detail. So make sure you are doing that so it fully covers that design. Of course, you're going to place this in the light. Make sure you put it in there for at least one minute. I like to do two just to be on the safe side. And I am showing you guys a little shiny moment just so you guys can see what it would look like if I left them shiny. But you guys know I didn't do that. So that's what they would look like. But that basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time.